Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Here I am again. Everything okay? Yes. That's great. That's great. Everything is okay. That's nice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. How was your day? Well, what can I say, teacher? My board is very busy because I have 16 children under my responsibility. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. 30 in, in the morning, another 30 in the afternoon. Okay, where do you work, mister? Uh, I work in, in Centro de Desarrollo Integral, CDI, in my church. Tabernáculo oh. Bíblico Bautista. Oh, really? Wow. Uh -huh. I, I teach on computer and instructor on sporting. Okay, sports instructor. Sports, sports instructor, sports instructor, yeah. Okay, so you keep busy. I feel great satisfaction, see, I, I feel great satisfaction. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, my job is... is uh, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing to me. And yesterday and today were very, very busy with them. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I feel happy because uh, I give them. I gave and, them. I gave them as the knowledge and I feel happy seeing, seeing them happy. Okay, yeah, that's cool. The fact that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like my job. That you can share with them a little bit of knowledge and help them and, and be there yeah. for them. That's something very yeah, important. Yeah. yeah, yes, 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 yes. To be able to, to be there, to, to be on the place, on the spot, help them helping people that's ah, yeah that's a different type of of, of of feeling we i don't want to that's a different type of feeling as un sentimiento distinto ah yeah yeah yes yeah, 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 yes 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 it is great a mí me gusta me gusta trabajar con niños oh really which ages are they Entre qué edades andan? Eh, ten and twelve years. Ten and twelve, yeah, they're little kids. Yeah. Sí, están chicos. Yeah, yeah, little kids, eh. Son esponjitas que captan todo. Yeah, y, sure. No, uno les da cariño, les da comprensión. Hay un montón de cosas que les da a los chicos. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's different, right? Yeah. It's a different feeling, it's a very different experience and yes. And actually yes, it's, yes, yes, yes. it's not that easy because you have to you have to give a little bit more all the time. Siempre hay que dar un poquito más. Yes, yes. Y ante, ante todo la palabra de Dios también se la damos a los chicos. Yeah, of course, that's also important. Yes, yes, yes. Los the spiritual están cambiando. side of, of things is it's something different and important. Well, so glad to hear that. So glad to hear that you are uh, working in something that you enjoy, that you yes. feel good doing. That's yes, yes, really, yes. really important. Yes, así es, teacher, así es. Well, Entonces, Mr. ya comenzamos el año. Yeah. Ahí vamos. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's great. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here, Ivan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Linda. Hello, Linda. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, same old story, working and doing a little bit of this and that. Uh, I have a, how do you say, negocio propio? 
Oh, you have your own business. I own have business. my own business. I have an own business. Okay, let me text it for you, okay? You say, I have my, oopsie daisy, my own, my own business. My own business. Yes. No, oh, that's great. What's your business about? Mm, how do you say this? Como bisutería. O sea, es como... Handicraft. That's I, handicraft. I, I, oh, really? I don't... Handicraft. That's nice. How do you say handicraft? Son esas actividades manuales que son parte de manualidades. Ah, ok. <clears throat> es que no sé cómo decir. Es, digamos, como un 10 y 15 porque tengo decoraciones de fiesta. Eh, tengo librería. Ajá, uh -huh. also. Y... Wow. Tengo de todo un poquito. A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. And, and it's good that you can have your own thing. Lo bueno es que tiene lo suyo propio. That's... Yes. Because in the after, I work but the babies is very difficult. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you have to 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 organize yourself. Yes. Right? Yeah, because if you got more than one thing, is I mean, it's a little extra effort the one that you have to do, right? Es un poquito más de esfuerzo. Yes, because the, the time is very short in the house, in the school. At school. Y en, I study in university. Oh, really? What are you studying? I don't remember abogada. Oh, you're going to be a lawyer. A lawyer. Oh, that's cool. That's actually great. Congrats. That's nice. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Linda, good to have you here. Welcome to the class. Que bueno tenerla acá. Bienvenida. Thanks. No, thanks to you. Carla Stephanie. Hello. Ella creo que dijo que iba a estar solo de oyente. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's see, Jorge Alberto. Good evening, mister. Good evening, teacher. How are you this lovely night, my friend? Mm, I, I am fine, teacher. That's great, that's great. And what about your day? How was it? ¿Qué tal el día? ¿Cómo estuvo? Normally, um, normal. Normally, mm, mm, nothing. Nothing special. Nothing special, teacher. Okay. Then tell me a little bit about your routine. What is your routine? What is normal for you? Mm, only work. Okay. Only work all day. Oh my gosh, working all day. Sí, yes. Um, okay, well, that's life, right? And um, yes, teacher. That's life. Es parte de la vida. And well, 
it's good to have you here. Just tell me, and, and what time did you finish working today? Okay. Uh, can you repeat, please? What time did you finish working today? Uh, um, from 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Oh. At 4 p.m. That's nice. That's nice. What time did you get home? Um, one hour. Oh, it just took you one hour. Yes. Um, That's okay. And the traffic is terrific. <laughs> no, terrible. So, terrible. Yeah, terrific is good. Ah. Terrible is bad. Okay. So the traffic was terrible. Well, yeah, I know how that feels. I know what it's like. Uh, traffic sometimes is crazy. Nowadays it's just crazy. Oh, yes, teacher. But what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Right? I mean, there's, there's not much to do. Well, Jorge, welcome. Hola. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Let's see who else, who else, who else is around? Who else is around? Mm -hmm. Hey, Romeo, how are you? Good evening. Romeo? Romeo Vladimir? Can you hear me? Perhaps no. Okay. Karen Elizabeth, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? So-so. Um, so-so, <laughs> why? Why so-so? Because today I have a therapy. Therapy? Therapy in my column. Um, oh. After the, después. After the, yeah. After, after the therapy, I have a dolor. Pain. What? Pain. Pain, yes. Oh, well. So sorry to hear that. But at least you are here in class. Welcome to the class. Bienvenida. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. So let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, Maritza. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Maritza. How are you? Very well, teacher. Thank you. That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, what about you? How's everything? How was your day? Uh, good, teacher. In this moment, it's working. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry to hear that. You got night shift? Okay, just tell me something. You got night shift or you got like 24 and 24? Excuse me, teacher. How long is your shift? ¿Qué tan largo es su turno? Um, uh, 7 a.m. From 7 a.m. to? The... Quiero ver. The of 5 p.m. of 7 a.m. Ah, from 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's long. It's a yeah. long night. Es una noche larga. Yeah, it's long. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yes. starting right now. Well, welcome to the class, Maritza. Yes, Jorge Alberto. Teacher, I have a dot. Eh, cuando 
Vamos a usar sor y pain. When we are going to use? Sor y pain. Oh, I got you. Very interesting question. Okay. Sor and pain. What's the difference? Well, actually, mm, pain, uh, how can I explain to you? Let me, let me try to, to explain it in a better way. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. The, the difference starts with the length of time. Lo primero es que tanto tiempo, okay? Uh, soreness is a pain, but it's short. Sometimes it's for physical activity. Okay? Just a few days. Soreness can last from one day to three days. Uh, pain sometimes uh, appears very quickly and can last longer. Longer than what? Three, four days. Okay. Now, uh, something else that can make a difference. I mean, actually, we got more pay, more words because we can use heart, pain, ache. Those are terms that are a little bit. Uh, different and related at the same time. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Example, teacher. Okay. Now, this is the same. I mean, uh, uh, uh. pain is discomfort. Okay, is the experience of something annoying or uneasy. Uh, well, discomfort is discomfort is that it's something that is like you feel like a little bit bad. It's discomfort. Then pain is more pronounced. You suffer from pain. Uh, pain can be from an injury. Puede ser por haberse lastimado or an illness por una enfermedad. Okay? That's the first thing. Now, um, when I tell you about something that you feel sore, as I told you, sore and discomfort can be almost the same because they are very close. Okay? Now you got ache. In the case of ache, eh, it's like a toothache, stomachache. Is aches are internal, okay? Ache is internal, uh, like a headache, a stomachache, a toothache. Those are aches. Let me see. I had I had an image somewhere. You can even imagine to explain that. If you bear with me, si me tiene a second, because I have it, I, I have Pain a little bit. for a short time. Yeah, pain can be shorter. Well, mm, mm, mm. it's just that it's not the time, it's a little bit more. Okay, let me see. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got the image, but I'm trying to make it into something more legible. Estoy tratando de hacerla más legible. Because it's too big. 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll know what I'll do. Give me just a second. I have it here. I'll send you guys a link so you can check it out, okay? You can check okay, it out on, in okay. your own time. Okay. I got it. Okay, there you go. That way it's easier. So you see, like, uh, I got a sortro. It's a little discomfort. A sortro. But ache is internal. And it's pain, like a toothache. Man, that hurts. That is not slight pain. And, but the difference is that an ache can be something that passed sooner than regular pain. Like, uh, 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 um, like, I mean, when you have been suffering from an illness, cuando uno estado sufriendo de una enfermedad for a long while, you have a pain, okay? Because it's consistent. It doesn't stop. It keeps on happening and happening and happening. Got it? Is it clear now, mister? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Oh, very good question, actually. That was a very good question. Now, let's see. Uh, 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 Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you this lovely night? Um, a little bit thirsty. <laughs> thirsty? Because... Yeah, because it's a, it's so hot. Yeah. It's so hot. hot. It is hot. Tell me about it. I'm just arriving from the gym. I went to the gym for more than one hour. No, for one hour. And then I was running and I came to the class and man, it's hot. Yeah, it is. And the worst thing is this, you know, uh, I mostly have a, a formal clothing. So I'm always with long sleeves and stuff like that. So how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Tell me, tell me. Um, it was great. Um, I was I was at home all the day. Oh, really? That's cool. Mm -hmm. What did you do at home? What were your activities today? Uh, today, I watched some videos about some um, in interviews. Um, and I did and I saved the laundry and the dishes. Oh, really? You know, I hate doing the doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah. That's something that I hate. Let me see. Let me see. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was reporting a little problem. So, well, you were busy. Even if you stay at home, you were busy. Estuvo ocupada aunque estuvo en casa. Yes. Okay, that's great. That's great. Well, let's see, guys. Now, thank you very much, Miss. Now we got a few minutes for the conversation part that I told you the other day. 
And let's see. I got I got a question for you. We are going to talk about one topic, okay? We are going to be talking about different different topics and we're going like to have a uh, conversations related to something interesting. So I got a question for you. This question we are going to be like discussing. Well, I'm going to be discussing it with some of you. I'm sorry for the time. I mean, it's just one hour and we have a lot of things to cover. Uh, so we cannot like cover everything, but let's see, let's see. This is the question. What is the first thing you notice about a person? What is the first thing you notice about a person? Romeo. Hello, Romeo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you, mister? Bad. Fine. <laughs> that's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Come on. Now, that's a question that I got for you. What is the first thing you notice about a person when you just meet someone? Um, I don't understand your question. Okay. Imagine you that... Uh, again a little slow, please. Imagine that you are in a situation like uh, you are uh, at a formal reunion. Yeah. And now imagine you are in an informal reunion. There's always, when we get to those uh, situations, uh, we always encounter new people, right? Yeah. So when they introduce someone to you, Cuando le presentan a alguien, what is the first thing you notice? ¿Qué es lo primero que se fija about uh, a person? Um, what do you say in la presentación? In okay. Her, yes, in, in the, the, it's correct, it is correct. Yeah, yeah, Present, the, 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 presentation, the presentation. The yes, the presentation. Um, no, uh, I don't know, Fisher. <laughs> really, only for me and the, uh, the presentation, and it is um, the person needs um, si, si, seguro. Si, oh, okay. Cuando, so cuando, when, yeah, yeah, when the, yeah. The confidence. Is, is talking. Yeah. Confidence in a person. Confidence. Yeah. That the person projects confidence. La persona okay. proyecta seguridad. Yeah. Confidence. It's the first thing. Okay. Hmm. So you see uh, the way they they dress, but also the way they behave. También cómo se comportan. Interesting. Thank you. Very interesting answer. Thank you very much. Okay, Guys, thanks. before I forget... Let me get the attendance. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking about. Okie dokes. Now let's see. Amanda Yamilet, Chicas de Rajo. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla Guzmán. Present teacher. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present teacher. Carmen Lisette Santillana de Retana. Present teacher. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Ivan Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Present teacher. Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez Ochoa. Present teacher. Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present. José Alberto Enríquez Guillén. Present. José Alexander Hernández Sorto. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Karina Alejandra Aquino Marroquín. 
Carla Lisette Martínez Navarro. Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Thank you. Catherine Iracema Villalta Gómez. Present. Leticia Aide Flores López. Present. Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez Torres. I'm here. Thank you, mister. Mayra Xiomara Guevara Ambrosio. María Dolores García de López. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Present, teacher. Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquilla. Present. Nelson Rodimiro Pineda Rivas. Osmin Vidal Rivera Baños. Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Wendy Paola Martínez, López Martínez. <coughs> Yolanda del Carmen Hernández López. Present. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, guys. Well, let's continue. So, same question. Uh, 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 Leticia, hello, Leticia. Hello, teacher. Okay, Leticia. In your case, what is the first thing you notice when you first meet a person? Que no primero que se fija. In your appearance, in your presentation, in your vocabulary. Oh, interesting. In or many things. Wow, very demanding lady. That's <laughs> nice, that's nice, excellent. Very good answer, thank you. Luis Eduardo Mendes Torres, what about you, mister? Hi, teacher. In your case, you are just meeting someone. So what is the first thing you notice about a person? Um, his presentation, his way, way of dressing. Dressing? The dressing, the confidence in speaking. The confidence while speaking, okay. Yes. Very good. Now, let's see. Melissa. Yes. What about you? Um, You're just meeting someone. What is the first thing, the first aspects you notice on a person? Uh, the eyes. The eyes. The confidence okay. and presentation. Mm. That's interesting. Quite interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. As I told you, you guys are very demanding. That's great. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, those are little aspects that I mean can tell uh, can tell something about the person, right? Son pequeños aspectos que nos dicen. They talk about a person. And that's something very important. Well, today, you know, we are going to we are going to post that a little bit. We're going to check some of the videos. We're going to explain some of the videos, not just watch. I want to, to check out if you have really understood what's in there so we can like uh, work a little bit more. Today, we're going to talk about making plans. I know that some of you have already finished the platform and just like ya terminaron la, the platform, most of you actually, which is good, but uh, it's, always, it's always interesting the fact that you are able to I'm sorry, the fact that you are able to uh, uh, apply it even better. So let's see. And if you tell me if everything is okay and it is really okay, that's cool because we are making advances, but 
my job is to check out if we are really, really clear on the on the aspect. So let's check it out. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go to it. Vamos a ello. Okay, guys. So we got here making plans. This is very short. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, guys, so we got the conversation here. Questions about the vocabulary? Um, the meaning, the meaning of afterward. Oh, después. Después de. Okay. Any other one, guys? When we say afterward, uh, yeah, we, we are saying después de ello, después de eso. Okay, now, when do we express future here? ¿Cuándo, dónde expresamos futuro? Tell me, tell me, guys. puede poner la, la conversación por this. You want to listen to it again? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, guys. Well, you know, in the conversation, actually, uh, the feature was expressed in two different ways. And that's what we are going to check. And then we are going to talk a little bit about this. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject, okay, I'm sample sorry, guys. with me. I'm going to make a pause here. 
Okay, we use it, look. Plan actions in the future. Or when you are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Okay, now the main difference is this. When making predictions, we do not use present continuous. Rather, we use be going to or will. Okay, that's very important for us to remember. When making a prediction, well, I'll be honest with you. When making a prediction, the most common one is will. Okay. You can use will, like uh, like in this case, you can say, watch out, you will break the glass. It's cloudy, I think it will rain, but also you can express it with be going to. These two are used almost the same, but look, when it's a plan action, it's different. We will get to it. Let's see. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation. Okay, guys. But the idea is for, for us to have it like clear and easy. So, when do we use the, the, the present continuous or the be going to for expressing future? In which situations? ¿En qué situaciones lo utilizamos? Predictions. Predictions. Predictions, yes, sometimes with predictions. Also with? Plans. Okay, when making... Plans with the future. Okay, plans for the future. Like, uh, well, you know, guys, I am teaching a class right after this one. I am teaching a class right after this one. Look. But remember, we when I when I use the present continuous, I am careful that I apply the the time expression. I am teaching tomorrow in the afternoon. In the afternoon, tomorrow. That's a time expression for the future, right? Because uh, remember that the continuous. If you don't specify the moment, it is understood that it's an action that is happening in the moment, right? Si no le especifico el momento, se podría entender de que es algo que está sucediendo. Like, I am teaching a class right now. Somebody calls me, my friends call me, hey, let's go to a party. And, and I answer, oh, I'm sorry, I cannot. I'm teaching a class. That's in this moment. 
they ask me, hey, let's go to a party later tonight. And I'm like, mm, I'm sorry, I cannot. I am teaching a class later on today. You see? Then I, I am talking about the future. Perhaps right now I'm doing nothing. I'm just kicking it here at home. But then I told him, hey, no, I'm so sorry. I cannot. I'm teaching a class at nine, from nine to 10. That's future. Okay. And uh, when I use the be going to, same idea. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to start classes at the university next week. I am going to start classes, a plan for the future. Okay. If I tell you that I am going to start classes, that means that I have followed a process. I already registered. I got the schedule. I got the which subjects I'm taking. I got everything set on, right? There's a plan. That's the difference. Remember, when you have a plan, is because you have followed steps. It's different then when using will, because will can be used like for something that uh, a decision that you take right in the spur of the moment. But on a decision spontaneous, you can use will. Like imagine that, um, let's see, uh, 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 Sholanda is going to, she's coming from work. She's going back home after work. And she's walking. And she sees the supermarket, Evel Supermercado. And she says, mm, I will pass by looking for something for cooking for tomorrow. I will pass by. En ese momento ella dice, ah, voy a entrar y a ver qué encuentro para preparar para llevar al trabajo mañana. That's a sudden decision. Una decisión que tomó in the moment. That's will. Okay. Now. You can use will for predictions in the future. You know, guys, I think it will rain tonight. It's very hot. It will rain tonight. It's a prediction. How sure? Not that much. ¿Qué tan segura? Not, no mucho. Okay. If you want to go to a more, uh, to a more sure. A, a prediction you use be going to ah it is going to rain it's a fact it's very hot a lot of clouds you know you can hear you can hear thunders okay so it is going to rain it's a prediction but it's the the level of sureness is more is higher am i explaining myself me estoy explicando Si se entiende? If not, tell me. Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Teacher. Thank you. Yeah, because I can, if I just see your faces, you get like, mm, you are just like thinking and thinking. And besides that, if yes. it's clear, we can go sure. back to speaking. Yes. Eh, según comprendo, eh, si, cuando se utiliza el, el going to, eh, es como para los planes pero queda más claro verdad en esa fórmula sin embargo si se usa el el, el, el cuando dice el presente, presente continuo es, necesa es necesario aclarar como con un adverbio de tiempo es decir o yeah, goes de to the future. mañana yeah, a time más tarde a, a fin de no no confundir la expresión a que es algo que se esté realizando en el momento yeah, because remember that present continuous also expresses something that is happening on a period of time. You know, guys, uh, yes. I, I bought a book last last uh, Sunday. Compré un libro el domingo pasado. I am reading that book. It's awesome. Y lo estoy leyendo. Está magnífico. Right now, I'm not reading it, right? Right now, I'm talking to you. But it's correct if I say, oh, I am reading a book I just bought. Estoy leyendo un libro que compré. I am referring to something that is happening in a period of time, in a short period of time. During a period of time, it's it started a few time ago and it's going to finish. You see? So in order to express future, I need to explain that. You know, guys, I bought a book last week, but this week I don't have time and I'm so busy. 
I think I'm reading it starting next Monday. Now it's future, right? Because I said, I am reading it starting next Monday. So we are expressing a future, but it's a plan. It's something that is going to happen in the future. And it's clear that it's going to happen in the future. And as you said, y como usted dijo, when using the be going to, of course, it's future. I'm going to read the book I bought. I'm going to read. Yo voy a leer. That's for the future. When? You don't know yet, but I have it in my mind that I'm going to do it. I bought it already. Ya lo le compré. I took steps in order to. Ya tomé paso para realizar la actividad. Thank How you, we doing here? Okay, no, no problem. Glad to be of assistance, guys. Oops, I'm sorry. I need to get rid of this. Okay, if there's no any more questions, I got questions for you. Tell me, tell me, guys. Me dicen si hay alguna pregunta. Okay, now. Let's see, Maria Dolores. No yes, teacher. Hello, Maria Dolores. Yes, yes we in teacher. Okay, tell me, Maria Dolores. I got a question for you. You know, I was asking about the... Uh, what is important? What do you notice when you meet someone? But now I got a question for you. Do you think it is important how people dress? Is it important how people dress? Es importante cómo se visten las personas? I think... Um... Como decirle, eh... for you, is it important? Considera usted que es importante el cómo una persona se arregla para una situación específica? Yes, it's very important because uh, uh, hay specific. Uh, a specific situation in a, in, in, is necessary a presentation, okay? okay. Uh, example, in, in work, in the uh, party, uh, is um, a specific uh, the form, form in and, and when see uh, appearance Not the appearance the appearance you is you say it appearance 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 okay thank you very much Now, let's see. Uh, uh, um, Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Okay. Oh, there's Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Tengo problemas con la aplicación. Oh, really? Oh, so sorry. Well, you can be listening, Mayra. No problem. You can be listening, okay? Okay. So let's see. Uh, 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 Luis Eduardo, tell me from your point of view, how old are you, Luis Eduardo? Hi, teacher. How old are you? Um, I am 45 or you, or 45 old. years old. Years old. Oh, you are a young man. You are a young man. Hey, you, you gotta say that you are. Usted diga que sí. I am 43, so I'm very close. <laughs> yes, teacher. I am very close, so you gotta say you are. Okay, <laughs> tell me. From your point of view, is the world more violent today? What do you think? Um... 
Yes. Okay, in, why? Um, the violent person. The people um, are more violent, the do people, you think? Okay, okay. The people uh, more uh, violent. Um, Yes, yes. Okay, let's leave it like that. Now let's see, Romeo, where are you, Romeo? Yes, I got, sure. I got a question for you. It's a very complex question. It's una pregunta okay. interesante. Okay. Yeah. Now. Imagine that you could have dinner with someone. If, yeah. if you could have dinner with someone, dead or alive, who would you choose? Any person. Mm, that depends, but it's a little difficult to choose who for, for someone. Because... No, no, no. You are not inviting. The situation is this. You have the opportunity to sit with that person, enjoy dinner and have a conversation. Ah. Okay. That person can be a, an historical person. Mm. Like imagine that uh, it could be Napoleon. <laughs> um, Who would you choose? A quien escogería? Si pudiera sentarse a cenar y platicar con cualquier persona, no importa si está vivo o ya falleció. Um, maybe, person who would it be? With a person, historic person, uh, Mozart. Maybe. Mozart. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're into music, right? Yes. Because hey, what about, it's, what about it's Vivaldi? Very... Oh, too. It's my favorite uh, com compositor. Yeah, composer. Composer, yes. But I would like to speak with Mozart because. Uh, her, his compositions uh, are very interesting with the difficult difficult for the for play violin um, uh, is, uh, is that the how do you say is uh, epoch or century is it's similar uh -huh. uh, is the century of the classicism um, Vivaldi uh, for the bar baroque yeah uh, epoch oh but... oh but what about uh, paganini uh yes uh, it's a uh, is how do you say uh, now we're it, talking business uh, yeah <laughs> i i can um, um really I, I i would like to speak with Mozart. yeah okay really. that's yeah that's interesting very interesting. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Ivan, where are you, Ivan? Hi, teacher. Same situation. You are but... sitting to have dinner with a person from history. Who would you choose? Wow. <laughs> I think it will be... Yo sé más por quién estaba pensando en, en ese personaje. <risa> okay, okay. El, que el que descompuso el átomo, ¿cómo se llama? Albert Einstein. Einstein. Einstein, yeah, Einstein. Wow, <risa> yeah, that's este. interesting. Yeah. Quite eh, interesting. Sí, because I, I we like eh, listen, listen him. Hey, hmm. Ivan, I, I want to show you how, uh, how I decompone. Yeah, but, yeah but, but you have gone very high. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> how I, I, thought it was, it, I thought it was going to be Adam. I thought it was going to be something easy with you guys, but Romeo said Mozart. Ivan said uh, Einstein. What Einstein. about what about you, Sarah? What do you think? Who would you sit with? 
Um, I don't know, maybe uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, nah, that's that's uh, pop culture. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Why? Uh, maybe uh, I would like him to teach me how to how to dance. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice answer. Nice answer. Yeah. Very nice answer. Okay. Let's see. I still got time for one more. One more. One more. Amanda Chamilet. I guess she's oh, she's having problems. No. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 Maria Dolores, what about you? Yes, teacher. Tell me. If you could have dinner with someone, dead or alive, who would you choose? Um, is the question uh, after question? Sí, si usted pudiera eh, reunirse, sentarse con alguien a conversar de la historia, ¿cuál sería? Mm. I like a... no story. I my my mom ¿Cómo decir? En la guerra falleció. Oh, she passed away ah. during the war. So you would like to sit and talk to her. Oh. Because uh, uh, I I like it. Yeah, my mom and speaking. Talk to her. Uh, oh, very, very interesting. Thank you, uh, Maria. Okay. I'm so sorry to stop you. Uh, guys, I need to take the second attendance again. Amanda Chamilet, Chicas de Rajo. Yes, teacher, present. Este, sorry, eh, no se, se desconectó por un momento. No problem, no problem. I understand totally. Andrea Gabriela Thank Maravilla you. Guzmán. Present, teacher. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Uh, Carmen Lisset Santillana de Retana. Present. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Ivan Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Present teacher. Thank you, Ibrahim. Jennifer Tatiana Gutiérrez Ochoa. Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present teacher. José Alberto Enríquez Guillén. Present. José Alexander Hernández Sorto. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Karina Alejandra Aquino Marroquín. Um, sorry, José Alexander Hernández Sorto. Say yes. Me dijo presente. All right. Eh, Carla Lizeth Martínez Navarro. Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Catherine Iracema Villalta Gómez. Present. Leticia Ide Flores López. Present. Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez Torres. I'm here. Thank you. María Xiomara Guevara Ambrosio. Present, teacher. María Dolores García de López. Present. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Present, teacher. Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquilla. Present, teacher. Nelson Rodimiro Pineda Rivas. Osmin Viday Rivera Baños. Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Yolanda del Carmen Hernández López. 
Present teacher. Well, thank you guys. Now, let me, before we move on, let me explain to you why we are doing this type of exercise. Okay. Déjenme explicarles por qué el tipo de ejercicio. Now, the idea with these questions and answers is that uh, I bring different topics. So you all think about something new and some, something different. When I ask you about different topics, you start using your English. La idea es que ustedes usen su inglés. How? Thinking how to answer a question that, I mean, it's coming out of the blue. Es de la nada que les traigo la pregunta. But it makes your brain go faster. Because I'm sure that I didn't talk to all of you. Estoy seguro que no hablé con todos, but you were thinking about the possible response, right? Ustedes estaban pensando cómo iban a responder. Yes, teacher. <laughs> and don't worry, you will, you will. Okay, and no se preocupen que van a estar ahí. You will be in that situation. I hope uh, you enjoyed the class as much as I did. Espero que les haya parecido bien la clase. A mí me encantó. You are a very nice group, guys. Uh, yeah. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone.